Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 388. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book but you're having trouble finishing it, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., christine-inc.com. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Well, once again, welcome and good morning and happy Sunday. And here's what we do every week, especially uh, those of you joining us for the first time. Every week on Sunday, I do Sunday story time where I grab a book off my bookshelf. It might be one of my own. It might be a client book or it might be just another book that's impacted me or, or present tense is impacting me in some way. And I read an excerpt from that book. And then the most important part is I pose an action question for you so you can apply the book excerpt to your writing. It's all about your writing here. That's why it's your daily writing habit, not Christine's daily writing habit. (laughs) That would be a boring show title. So here is the book that I've just pulled off my bookshelf. This is a client book by a a brand buddy (laughs) slash client, and it's called Moology, M-O-O-L-A-H-G-Y, Uncovering the Secret Cash Cow Hidden in Your Brand, and it's by Kelly Lucente. She helped me design my ink agency brand, so total brand expert here. Moology, Uncovering the Secret Cash Cow Hidden in Your Brand, and here we go. Why is brand such a big deal? And there's a quote. Your brand is the single most important investment you can make in your business. Steve Forbes, Forbes Editor-in-Chief. Brand is a promise, and it's also how an audience, quote-unquote, feels about that promise. Think of it in terms of your familial relationships. When you are lied to by a member of your family or feel uncertain about their actions, how does that make you feel? Does it impact your trust in them short or long term? Will you question what they say or do for a period of time or possibly indefinitely? If they hurt you in some way, will you be inclined to say, thank you, I'd like another please? No, you will retreat to a safer place, a place of certainty, a place where you can trust and where there will be truth. If your family member is a brand, You want to feel assured she does what she says and that her response contributes to the family in a positive way. It's what we expect from brands, that they become a part of our family. You've heard the term tribe, quote unquote, before, I'm sure. When we align with a tribe, we induct ourselves into the tribal family. We believe their beliefs, we are perceived how they are perceived. This is the power of brand. With a strong resonating brand, you build a tribe of believers, believers in your product or service, believers in your business mission. And these believers will become raving fans and speak the good word about your wonderful brand. That's why brand is a big deal. Because if they, your potential customers, or in our case, readers, don't love you, they're probably indifferent or possibly worse, they may dislike you and share their feelings with others. You see, you're a brand, whether you do anything about it or not. How people feel about you and your business is your business. Don't you think you should influence those opinions, those feelings, when you can? If you do nothing, they form their own opinions. If those opinions are negative, those opinions can hurt you. Excellent points. Once again, that was an excerpt from the book Moology, M-O-O, L-A-H-G-Y by Kelly Lucente, L-U-C-E-N-T-E. I'll drop a link in the the show notes as well if you want a copy, especially a lot of my authors asking me to break down the subject of author brand. And obviously she's talking about the overall subject of brand, especially in relation to a business. But if you just swap out business with book and customers with readers, you can totally apply this book to your author brand. So here is the action question based on that excerpt. Very simple. She talks about your tribe. So imagine you were a famous author and you had kind of a tribe of readers. So you have this huge, huge, like Stephen King. I mean, dream big here. Might as well vision big. (laughs) 
And you have this huge tribe of readers and followers. You know, a lot of people call it kind of like such and such nation. So if you were going to name your tribe of readers, your fans, imagine if you even had like a convention or a conference every year. I mean, just dream big. What would you name your tribe of readers? What would you name your audience, especially if they all came together in this big, exciting party every year? What would you name them and make it something that they would be proud to call themselves? I hope that's a fun exercise for you. And as always, thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And be sure and drop by my Inc. Authors Group, INK, on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, and more. Hope you have a great Sunday. Until tomorrow, happy writing.